Hello and welcome by the Orchid Saga. Today we have another checkup video day and this time it's um, time to do the um, Cidiums in types. So I uh, will get straight to it because we have quite some plans to uh, check on and uh, well uh, we will have a look at all of them and uh, like I said we will check the reservoirs. And we start off this uh, section of checking the reservoirs with my uh, Sherry Baby, my Oncidium, that's the first one, fairly big one. And she's doing fine, she has three new growths, one here, here and one here. And um, yeah, quite some roots, but also some older roots, so this one could do uh, with a uh, refreshing pot-wise, I think. Um, and the new growths are starting to put out a lot of new roots, so probably in the near future it would be a good time to do a uh, up potting, repotting, just to check what's inside because I see some uh, older roots and also some uh, newer roots, but just to freshen up the pot. She did well, she had a pH of 6.7, so I did uh, give it a little bit of calcium just to get it above the 7 again. Parts per million were 137, so uh, that was a, a fine, perfect actually, so uh, this one is good to go again. Here's my Sotoan, and this one had a pH of 6.6, uh, .6, so I did a bit of calcium in it, in the reservoir, calcium powder, and it had, had a parts per million reading of say, uh, 87. So that uh, was perfectly fine, and we have a pot filled with roots on this one. Well, I'm dripping all over the place, but... Uh, as you can see they are really coming out of the pot and really everywhere so uh, and uh, I did some maintenance on it I cut off uh, about five spikes that were done we have still two that uh, we can enjoy but uh, yeah this is my Sotoan and it's doing uh, fairly well and this is my yellow twinkle the biggest uh, twinkle I have and it's starting uh, to getting in bloom. It has some few. It has quite some spikes. And I didn't repot this uh, that long ago, but we I still already see some roots on the outside of the pot. So it's uh, it's uh, doing well. It looks great, I think. And it had a pH of 7.2, so uh, it didn't need any calcium. And the parts per million were 132. So this one is uh, good to go for another uh, three months at least. Beautiful tiny blooms here. <laughs> this is my Pupikea Sunset Alba. <laughs> Just needed a little uh, check. And first of all we have some nice roots. And we have already one beautiful spike. This is absolutely one of my favorites. Such a beautiful plant. Next to it you can see the second spike. And there where it is is there you can see the third one so at least three spikes and this one is uh, one of my oldest one all the ones that is growing in self watering so I had this one had to go to quite some troubles but it did uh, survive and it's a uh, really happy uh, back again I think and like I said with a beautiful root system good measurements in the reservoir so I don't need to do anything just put her back in her happy place this is my uh, sweet sugar and it has a, a pH of 7.2 so that's, that's okay. Um, 7.2 in case you couldn't hear me because of the, the tap uh, running and uh, a parts per million of 149 so that's okay as well. But it could do with, uh, with a little bit more roots so I hope after blooming she will uh, try to put out uh, a little bit more uh, roots, that would be great with a, uh, with a new growth. But, uh, and the spike I'm just going to leave it on it, but it's almost done blooming. But uh, yeah, I think it's uh, doing okay, but it could do a little bit better, so we'll keep an eye on this one. But so far nothing wrong with the reservoir, so that's uh, good news of course. This is my uh, Oncidium Phycosum Baldum Black. It has, this is the newest growth and it is bloomed with that, so it's getting a bit better. But yeah, this one is, uh, is not really, really happy. It's a, not that easy plant to grow and it doesn't make that much roots. 
So yeah, I hope once again that it will make a new growth very soon and that that one will make a new root system. So it's, because this one is not really, really happy. It doesn't look very bad, but still it could do better. This one had a pH of 4. So I am so happy I do these uh, checkups because they, the previous one did uh, look, all, uh, everyone did uh, look okay. And then you have that one exception as this one. This one was pH 4, so that is way too low. So maybe therefore it uh, did lose some root because I'm a little bit too late uh, with my measurement. And normally I do it every three months. It's now been four months because of the uh, construction work, etc. on the house. But um, so yeah, therefore I do these checkups. This is uh, so I can adjust the pH and therefore create a better environment for the plants. And especially when I start trying to make new growth, I, I think I hope <laughs> they will do it. This one will do it. But then I have it everything uh, pH wise okay and the parts per million were uh, 160 so a little bit higher that what is was to be expected because this plant is not doing much so I will keep an eye on that as well. I have this one listed as the Pupicea alba so not the sunset but the, uh, the alba this one has, has similar blooms they're practically the same but it hasn't that uh, pink or reddish um, color in with the blooms. It's only yellow and white, if I remember correctly. Um, and as you could see, it's working on a flower spike, so soon we will uh, can we really can check the blooms and see if I uh, did give it a right idea. And also it's making uh, and has quite a beautiful root system. So I'm really happy with that. pH was 6.9, so we did, did give it a little bit of calcium to get it uh, above the 7 again and the parts per million were around uh, 160. A little bit high, but the last time that I checked uh, it was 167. So it's, it stays around 160 and that's okay for me as well. I did get it as a, with one small bulb here in the back, I hope you can see it, and this, this bulb, and it was just about finishing blooming. And luckily it did make this new bulb, so uh, because I was really I really wanted this one. I had my eyes out for it for a fairly long time. and uh, But I will show you soon why, because I think it's a stunning bloomer. So, uh, But yeah, it's doing fine. This is my Oncidium Catherine sock. Uh, well, first of all, it has a beautiful root system. As you can see, it really is filled up the pot with roots. Two beautiful bulbs here. The, those were the newer ones, and we have one here. It's a slightly thinner. That one did bloom as well. And now it started with a one new growth there and one here. So it may have only two uh, new growths growing uh, on, but that's okay. It did have seven spikes, and uh, yeah, the readings were seven. Uh, um, a, a pH reading of seven, and parts per million were 92. So, um, yeah, this one is doing really well. Beautiful blooms, very strong. If you think the Sherry Baby is very strong, well, this one is even stronger, in my opinion. This one really filled up the greenhouse with a very strong fragrance. Not particularly my favorite, but um, I didn't mind it as well. I, I think it's nice when you get in a room and you really have that Florence fragrance. Well, this one has it, and it's, but it's a quite a bit strong. Catherine Sock, beautiful plant to have, I think. Then we have another Sherry Baby, but way smaller. It's a very uh, young plant. This is my Sherry Baby uh, Ruby Doll with uh, red flowers. Beautiful one. It did have a spike. I just cut it off, and uh, but it did bloom very well for me. Um, it has a bit of yellow leaves, so I need to keep an eye on that. But uh, the bulb is not as tall but it's way bigger so I think it's doing well and it's currently working on this new growth here it has also beautiful roots in the pot quite quite a uh, quite an amount of roots so that's uh, very good obviously and it had a pH of 7 and the parts per million were 138 so this one uh, is doing very well I don't have to adjust anything Ruby doll so this is another Twinkle with a very fancy name. It's called Twinkle Brown Orange. It's almost sad, isn't it? But yeah, as you can see, this is the uh, older part of the 
of the plant so if we go further through the front the bulbs are getting smaller so that means uh, that the plant wasn't uh, as happy but it's now trying to do a uh, to make a flower spike and a new growth and we have some healthy roots finally I did struggle with it uh, so much especially with my twinkles but now when I do these measurements since uh, since then I really see uh, root growth starting new growths that do mature and they really start to getting into uh, growing into self watering but the pH has to be at a, a right range um, preferably um, between 6 and 7 but not uh, under 5.5 uh, but um, yeah they, they, these really do hate uh, a very low pH some orchids can take it for a while but these guys really hate it so you lose the roots quite quickly this one had a pH uh, around 7.5 so above 7 is okay they, they do take it but uh, underneath 5.5 I don't think they are becoming very happy with that so let's put it back in a pot gently so my brown orange we will see those brown orange blooms fairly now we yeah, are fairly soon you never know with a twinkle twinkle that does it take its time but it's working on a spike at least and here we have another twinkle this one is called uh, twinkle border red dark it has fairly similar uh, blooms to the the one before uh, I didn't check it, maybe it's the same one, I don't think so, I think they are slightly different but I never had them in bloom at the same time so that would be fun so we can compare them. Same story, this one is getting some roots in the pot, it's a fairly large pot uh, probably but uh, we do see some roots coming on the edge of the pot and it's working on a few new growths and uh, it had a pH of 7.3 and a parts per million reading of 160 so a little bit high I will keep an eye on it but it's uh, so far so good I think and here we have my Yirek compact pink and, and let me show you the flowers because this one is in bloom I hope you can see them very fairly small flowers and uh, let me put it like this so you have a comparison comparisons with my fingers but beautiful little almost dancing lady type flowers and for me I have it uh, in, uh, in the section for the, with the twinkles it's not really related to a twinkle for as far as I know but I uh, think because of the size it's, it's a very compact plant and um, the rest of her was okay I had a reading of 7.3 parts uh, pH wise parts per million was 138 no, 183, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I did flush it. I am not always do that, but with uh, the, this one and the twinkles, they really don't like a salt built up. So just to be safe, I did give it a flush. Um, normally this, can, this one can have fairly long flower spikes, but same story, it didn't do well. I tried everything with it, and then I put it back into self watering because I want to have it in self watering. And now with the checkups it's doing way better and we have one row, uh, root that I can see is uh, touching the reservoir growing already but we have new roots, we have a new growth, we have two spikes so it's, it's uh, on the right path again I think. <laughs> and my last twinkle is the uh, twinkle Shane Tsai Soy Tsai Delight, something like that, I did try my best. But this one has the most beautiful root system of them all. I think it's beautiful. I really, really love it. Beautiful, I wish the, they were all like this. But this one did take off, again, in self-watering pretty, uh, pretty good, as we can see. Same story, it didn't do so well, but then, uh, then I changed my way of growing. I checked the reservoirs every three months. And it's really, really beneficial, as you can see. I did cut off two spikes, but it's also working on two new ones as well. So, um, this really looks like the Red Fantasy. I'm not sure if those are the same, but this is the tag that I have for it. So, I should have looked, looked it up. I didn't do it for this video, but um, in the near future, because the blooms are uh, really uh, similar to the Red Fantasy. But, and it's uh, also working on a new growth already here. And also in flower, it had a pH of 7.07 and 160 parts per million. So it's doing okay. Nothing to do for me here. 
further so it can go back to her place. This is my uh, Oncidium George. Ne yeah. Yeah, George Verbonen, if I'm correct. George, George Verbonen. George Verbonen. Let me see. No, George. I'm sorry. I, I I thought it was George, but I have it with a G. With a J, not a G. I'm sorry. In my notes. But anyhow, George Verbonen. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know this one. I was surprised when I took it out of the pot a few videos back. When I did a greenhouse update, I didn't have a well exit a few months back, but look at this! How many beautiful, healthy roots! Crazy! It's it's in uh, pumice with Cintiq, and it, apparently it really, really loves it. It had a pH of 7.1 and a parts per million reading of 160. So once again, I had some twinkles that had that many roots. And also a few of them have a reading of 160. This one has a lot of roots, has also a reading of 160. I mention that because don't get fooled. It's not always means that an orchid is eating more if it has more roots or it has more bulbs. And that is why I like these testings, these tests, I'm sorry, these uh, tests that I do. Because I know, I, I if I didn't do those tests, I thought, well, I can give this more fertilizer because it has a lot of roots, it's really eating, it's working on two new growths, as you probably already saw. Nonetheless, because it's, uh, it doesn't need probably that much fertilizer, at, uh, at least at this moment, because otherwise it would take it, uh, as the other orchids do, that will need it. So, um, yeah, I think it's nice to know. Don't overfeed them. If you think they are doing so well, you want to give them more and more. No, not necessary. Just uh, if you have self-watering, I would suggest you do those checkups as well. It gives you so much more information. So, okay. Enough said. This is a beautiful, happy plant. And uh, it didn't decide to make flower spikes, but instead some new growth. And it's a fairly young plant. So I'm really happy with that. Just do make those new growths and the blooms will come when it's time. George Verbonia. And this is my Oncidium Speckled Spire Snowflake and it has a beautiful uh, root system in a pot. We have quite a lot of roots here as well. And some here, so it's doing fairly well. We have a new growth here, one here and even one there. So three new growths. It's a very young plant and it has also some aphids. I don't know if you can see it, so I need to give this a spray. I currently uh, have a uh, aphid infestation on my plants, so I'm not really happy with that. But yeah, yeah, I need to deal with them. But anyhow, this plant is, uh, besides the aphids, it's doing very well. It's growing very well. It had a pH reading of 7.2, as it has the last one. Three months ago, it had uh, almost four months ago, it had also a reading of 7.2. So that stays the same and. The parts per million are now 101. So this one is beautiful. Uh, eating as well and growing. So it's uh, doing fairly well. This is a Oncidium hybrid of some sort. It does say uh, hybrid in North America on the tag. So I'm not pretty sure what is the exact name. Maybe it doesn't have a, a name uh, yet. But um, while I try to get this name tag back. Um, it's finally starting to grow a uh, root in the pot, and we have a new growth that is finally starting. The didn't, one didn't do much for, for a while now, but it's coming back to life and the bulb is not shriveled too much, I think, so that's okay. And this new growth is uh, growing. I also had some aphids on this one, this new growth as well. It had um, a pH reading of 7.2, parts per million 124, so it's doing fine. Nothing to do here for me, so it can go back into the greenhouse. And this is my Oncidium Irish Mist. Uh, for those who live in Europe and maybe in America, but this one is fairly hard to find. I see it in Australia for sale more often. But luckily I did find one, because the blooms are really stunning if you ask me. I only saw them on pictures, so I hope one day this will make a flower spike. So far, so good. This growth here is making a new growth. This is a fairly new growth. Yeah, uh, quite, 
quite uh, of just uh, matured I'm sorry <laughs> and we have a young new growth maturing here as well problem is this one had no water in the reservoir so I can do not my uh, I cannot do my measurements but I will do that in a uh, few days one or two days so I have it now on my uh, whiteboard that I need to check this one in ag again but I wanted to show you the plant so you know I have it and I think it's doing okay we have some new roots I did lose some roots because my water meter this one is not working so I thought uh, it was dry all the time but it may I, but I had no idea because I didn't lift it from the shelf and I kept kept filling it up and then I didn't have a clue but I have way too much water in it for uh, about a week so I it did lose uh, some roots because it didn't have any air around the roots but it's now coming back we have a live roots luckily because this one is very specially special for me so uh, Oncidium Irish Mist, if you are curious. Procyoglossum Radon Gesta. That is this one. And it's doing okay. We have some branching roots, but I don't see much roots on the edge of the pot yet. The two new growths are maturing very slow. So yeah, I think it could do any, a bit better. I had this plant from March this year. So yeah, it's could have done a little bit better, but on the other hand, the parts of a million uh, were around 100, 103, and the um, pH was 7.2, but the parts of a million 100. So we saw earlier one uh, orchids with a higher parts per million, and they get the same amount, the same water. I don't change the water up, it's too much work. So therefore, I think this one is still is eating, but it could have a little bit more roots, but it doesn't. Uh, look uh, desiccated or anything it's just slow it's working on some new roots so i think it's doing okay but i would like to see a few more roots inside the pot but uh, who knows so yeah this is the uh, uh, raw radon jester so as you guys can see this is my cecopsis butterfly it has three spikes here and it's currently working on number four and I'm happy because this one has a uh, fairly beautiful root system. We have some algae, so if you think what's that, the brown sort, it's uh, from the seaweed kelp. Sometimes it leaves a little bit of trace from the seaweed kelp and uh, the other power. I have also a seaweed powder stuff. That one likes uh, to grow a little bit in, a, in the reservoirs. But it's okay for me. You can see here the new root tips on there. One here, one here. Some darkening roots. But we have one here as well. I think you cannot see it on camera. I'm sorry, but this one is very brown. And then suddenly it starts to lighten up again. And so that's a nice uh, new portion of the root. So dark roots don't always mean that they are dead. And especially on this side of the pot where the bulbs are located, most of them we have the roots. On the other side we have and, uh, maybe a few, but not, not as many. But this one has a beautiful root system. And we had a pH reading of 6.3, so that's nice. It's the right time to adjust it, to give it a little bit of calcium to pump it up to at least around 7. And the parts per million were 79. So this one is really eating. Well, it's, it likes to bloom as well. Whoops, I'm sorry. Currently working on a new flower spike. Before that it did mature the bulb. So yeah, this one uh, is needing the fertilizer as well. And it's taking the fertilizer. So I'm really happy with it. Psychopsis butterfly. So in this my Psychopsis alba. Let me try to show you at least one bloom so you know I'm not lying. There it is. It has three spikes and currently three bulbs, at least the live ones. One here, one there and a new one here in the front. That one is still uh, maturing. And we have some roots. We have a few healthy roots here, as you can see. Well, I cannot cannot come closer because the spikes are are uh, hitting the ceiling. As you can see, they are fairly long. Whoops! We go this way. There it is. So yeah, I'm sorry, but it has a few new roots. This one isn't isn't as healthy or no, isn't as strong as the other one. These bulbs did all go uh, go away and. Are starting to starting to dry up so I'm waiting but I think in the near future I'm going to repot it get those old bulbs off I saw this happening in summertime 
took months for them to dry up, so I, there's no rot, at least not yet, I don't think it will be there. But uh, so I, I let them on, so the orchid was really uh, uptaking the, yeah, the nutrients still left in those bulbs, old bulbs, and putting them in the newer ones. So I think uh, I did make the right choice, at least I hope, by leaving them on. And therefore this uh, plant could grow a little bit more, could mature this new growth. And they are, well at least this one, is they are very uh, big, then they start making new uh, roots, the, the, the new ones. So therefore I think this is around the time that I can do a repot on this one. So that will be on my channel very soon and I'm really curious to see how many roots it has. I don't think it has much, but it's still eating and, and drinking, so it's doing fine. But it could have a few more, but this one isn't as strong as the butterfly. At least uh, uh, the ones that I have, but it's doing fine. I have this one for years, uh, over three years now, so I think it's doing okay. So that's to be come, but this is my uh, Alba version. And I almost did forget to mention, but it had a pH of 7 and a parts per million reading of 123. So it's eating its uh, uh, feet, a little less feet as the other one, but that was to be expected. So therefore I have a little bit higher reading, but... Uh, yeah, it's doing fine and can now go back into the greenhouse. And I apologize a little bit for in this uh, brutally interruption, but my uh, video is way too long. I'm working on it now at my editing program and it's really, like I said, way too long. So therefore, this um, will be part one of the Oncidium and Oncidium types. And um, next time we will do the brushias. So uh, for now, uh, thank you for watching. I really enjoy making these. And as you can uh, see and uh, here, I have quite some things to learn. I like doing that. I like learning. I like to experience things. But this is a whole new setup and I like to introduce my plants, etc. But I uh, try to not overdo it. So I try to find a balance here. But uh, for now, thank you for watching and I really hope to see you at next uh, one of my next videos. Bye bye!